So this is part two and here we're going to continue on with where we left off in the previous video. So, so far we have this container ID and I'm going to show you how we're going to use this. First, what we need to do is we're going to make sure that if we have the container ID, we want to know if this container ID already has an existing legend. If it does, we want to make sure that will be uh, not duplicated or else we have two we have to delete one to make the other so let's start to work on the code we're going to put it here up and i'm putting this code here because later on this function will be used in the html plugin block so what we're going to say here constant and we can just give it a simple name say get or create the legend list I'm going to say here what i will need is the chart and the id and then we can work with this so we have these two um, uh, arguments or sorry in this case this is the parameters that we're going to use so we're going to say the const let's make first the constant and then we're going to say here the legend container equals and then we're going to say your document dot uh, uh, get element by the id and what is the id name well in this case this id will be the item in here let's double check the container id name so we have this reference that is not yet built but we're going to use that so so it will be a dynamic id here we say you just based on whatever we have referenced so once we did that then what do we want to do here is we're going to say here let a uh, list container and what i want to do here is basically make a list a unordered list in this case that will be in specifically where in this div here so in other words we just make in the div a um a unordered list however we're going to say here let the legend and then we're going to say here uh legend container all right dot query selector we're going to search for it are we does it exist query selector and then we're going to say here give me the unordered list if there is any if there is none of course then we can check and continue on so if we are not able to find this list it would mean that we already we didn't we did not yet create anything and we have to create our legend so in this case, I say if there is no list container existing, and if you're wondering where that is, it's basically in here somewhere. Uh, in our div here, this one here specifically, you would like to see this legend container have an unordered list. So if there is none, in that case, what I'm going to do now is say list container will be equal and create that specific item. So it's a document document dot create element and then we're going to say here the unordered list so create the unordered list and of course then later on we need to put in the list items that will be later on but what i do want to do is give it a proper design and to do it very easily i'm just going to give it a class so i say list container dot class name will be named list container uh, i guess that can be that's fine, we'll leave it like that. And later on, I will give the class name some design. And then what I want to do is we want to append, and append means nothing more than adding it on to the father container or basically the parent container. So this is the parent because this list, I uh, the unordered list will be within the div here. So we're going to say here, append child. So we're going to attach the child and the child is the list container. So if I do this now, and then of course what we have to do here is make sure we will return whatever the list container value would be. Save that, refresh right now. Is there anything? No. And the reason why there's nothing yet is because we did not trigger the function. So what I can do here right now is say constant on order list and just get specifically the items here basically this function so we're going to say i want to trigger this function and what i'm going to put in remember these uh, parameters the chart and the id name so the chart is basically our chart 
we can use this chart object with so the same name. And then we're going to say here, the next one would be the ID. So how do we get this ID here, the container ID that I already created in the previous video? Well, remember we have here the options, it goes to the HTML legend, so it will understand how to get here. So that's why we have this ID here already. So we're going to say options, then we say a dot, container ID is basically our ID here. So if I save this now, refresh, you can see now we have our unordered list container. So that's already working. So that will mean that we can now start to create our legend. And it will be in the next video.